All right, I just finished getting the impeller on. Um, so what I did was I started by putting the impeller on the shop press on the on the bottom, and then you gotta you gotta like press it down from the top. And I was using a couple different uh, you know sockets and things to get it to go. It was a little tricky. I couldn't really video while I was doing it was worried I was going to break the impeller um, but you know it was resting on the on the plate which I shouldn't have had anything to worry about but uh, got it on there I did hear a crack and it was uh, I think everything's all right it was the plastic tab from the the seal but I don't think the seal actually broke I think just a piece of the tab snapped off so here's the old one so I just, I think one of these broke off and hopefully it's not going to screw me up. I'm not going to take this whole thing apart again. It may be fine. If it ends up not being fine, I'll have to do it all over again and get another rebuild kit because I don't know if you can get just the seal. But this is the old seal. You can see where it wears, right? You see that like dished out. Um, but once I got it pressed on, uh, I couldn't get the back cover on because this was a little, the impeller was a little bit high. It's below the surface now. You don't want to press it down too far, otherwise it might start hitting the pump body. But I have a good clearance. You can see the shaft comes a little bit over the top. So I just had to put a socket, put it in the, put it in the press like this, put a socket over this and just went down a little bit further. Now the cover clears. Thank goodness, got, got a little worried there for a sec. Let's put the cover on with a gasket, of course, which I have here. And then one of the important things to note is uh, this, on these pumps for the 228 GMC at least, I don't know if there's other ones that are like this, but uh, there's a bolt hole between the water outlet and the heater hose. Um, the bolt has to go in before you put the pulley on because when you put the pulley on and press it down it's going to stop you from pulling it out all the way so last thing you want to do is get this thing put back on and then just have to press it off again and risk damaging your new bearing so don't forget that step i'm not sure if the chevys have it but the 228 gmc's do so next step is I'm going to press this on and put the cover on and the gasket and I'll be done. And hopefully that little snapped tab is not going to cause me any grief. Um, and that's it. Once that's done, it goes back on the truck and hopefully it'll be good for another 70 years. I'll do one more video when it's uh, all assembled. Thanks.